Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragons back. And welcome all of you to another episode of Monday Madness's Fallout Shelters. So, the vault grew quite a bit since the last time you came in and saw what was going on. We have a lot more training rooms right here where I just have dwellers in that I did not know actually what to do with. And we have a lot more storage rooms and a lot of people working in them. Because again, I did not know what to do with the dwellers. Then, next to that, we have a vault capacity of 194 at the moment. I saved this one up for when we were recording because this room can be upgraded once more. Bringing us to the full 200 dwellers vault capacity. This is the maximum capacity that we can have. We are not allowed to have more than 200 dwellers in our vault. Now we can handle all of those dwellers if we get to this point. And I'm pretty sure the next time I record we will be at this point. Then what else is new? I'm currently saving up the money as you can see we have... Oh it's nice of you to actually jump in and come by. I'm currently saving up the money so that I can upgrade the weapon factory one more time to make legendary weapons. At the moment I can make rare weapons but I wanna be able to make legendary weapons. So that just make a little bit of time there. Then what also is important here is Emily Peter Peterson is a level 32 and has the rusty plasma rifle which is a strong thing and Eric Clark is level 24 and he has the flamer. So I had both of them be outside of the vault for a little while and just you're dancing buddy and have them just train up, gather more stuff and just overall get a little bit stronger so that the attacks that they have to endure at the front of the vault are not as dangerous to them anymore and it really helped because now when a death claw attack happens they just eat them up they don't care about that at all found ya if you could leave some nuka quantum behind it'd be amazing from you you know thank you bottle so nice of you to do that for me um Apparently I can't get you, okay? Sadly I zoomed in so could have lost where bottle would be going. But I found you. Are you leaving? Or are you just nope, he's actively leaving. Well then the cap doesn't do anything as well. So you are at the point that I want to have you. Let's take a look. And you can go in there. We have of course our quests out there. There's one that I just started, which is aim for the head. But I decided since I didn't have a second quest queued up, we're gonna just do that. Because we also have Collateral Murder, which is the continuation of a storyline that we're going for actually. And we can use our quantum to make them reach that instantly, because I'm not gonna sit here for two hours and wait for them to reach it. Then we have a few people wandering the wasteland, just so that they can get some training, because I wanna have a wanderer squad at out there at all time and of course we have Pamela outside because she is fully trained up I think level 50 is actually the max level that she can re uh, she can get so she is as good as she will get with her level which is also sad because the level ups helped her um, gain back her health every now and then which she now doesn't do anymore but she is out now for 2 days and 15 hours hours so she has been out she's been collecting a lot of stuff for me and she also has so much money she found some uh, steam packs on the way and now there's a fire we're not ending the episode yet which actually reminds me I had a weird graphical glitch uh, at one point where uh, my outfit workshop had a fire outbreak and for some odd reason, after they extinguished the fire, 
it didn't go back to normal uh, graphic anymore, but just stuck with the burnt one. Oh, and one more thing before we jump into the first mission is we actually got our first um, design out. Look, we have the Minuteman, which we can make at. What is it? If we wanted to do that, the. The, 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 the theme workshop. Now that we have themes, we could actually make the uh, the theme workshop, have some people in there and make the themes for us. Which, why not? We could do that. We have a lot of people actually doing nothing. So that might be a method of having some people do something productive once in their life. But we're gonna think about that. And in the meantime, let's jump in to aim for the heads. Kill the glowing one. So I have those three. For this mission they needed to have the lab coats on. I don't know why, but they needed to. So let's take a look. Okay, it's not too big of a map, so we're doing fine there. Let's jump on in and see how difficult this will be. Okay, nothing. Not necessarily that... Well, actually the glowing one can deal red damage, so that will be super helpful for us. And this... Oh, we have ghouls in general. I thought, for some odd reason, glowing ones that would wanna have to deal with uh, red roaches. Well, whatever. Let's just take out one after another. Otherwise this will take a little bit too long there for my personal preference and you heal over you take damage way too easy what do we have so good mm. none of them are probably better than what I have frosty BB gun nobody needs that why would I risk a potential zero and done anything left behind but the ghouls no you I did not want to press that hmm that might actually be coming handy. Well, whatever. Moving forward, there's actually a good bit more to explore here. Well, I gave you a lot of resources with you, so there should not be a problem with that. Everybody focus, fire. And one last shot. Nice. You take your sweet time taking them out. It's a little bit annoying, but I mean, whatever. Nothing in here, just some caps. That's okay with me. That was a nice shot combo there from the two of you. That actually looks like a great arrangement right now. No, now it doesn't anymore. It looked great because she of the shotgun was up front. Uh, the uh, Joanna King was up front with uh, the shotgun and both of them with the sniper rifles were in the background, which looked like perfectly organized. And then they moved. Hey, it's some mo rats. You really shouldn't have any problems with that one. And there they go. Oh, a theme. Theme park. So that's good. Let's check the upper floor here first because I don't want to have to necessarily run back for that later on. Seems like it's easier for me to just check that one out real quick. Another theme part. Easy enough to gather all of them. What do we find up here? I doubt that this is... Yeah. Those are just some normal tools. And goodbye. What do I get? More themes. I, I think I definitely should make the theme workshop now. Seeing how many themes we are actually getting. It seems like it would be stupid not to take that. Hey, there's the glowing one. At least I hope that that's the one that we are supposed to take out. So let's focus on you, focus on you, focus on you. You're getting low. And... Shoot ya! Yeah, not perfect, but whatever. So then let's just take you... Out. Ah, uh, also not perfect. Just there's a lot of them just attacking one person at the moment, so... Making sure... Whoops. 
the gym not dying there unnecessarily would be great. Everybody focus fire so that we can make sure everybody is firing on one and the same there. You get a little healy. I don't have enough stim packs to sustain all of you for the whole run there apparently. So I ho really hope that that was the one that we needed to take out. Because we only have seven stim packs left. Yes, that was the one that we needed to take out. Some nuclear quantum, which I like. I don't need the radaways. Radaways are not what I need. And I'm not gonna give them the level ups just yet because they heal them fully. And that seems to be a rather good thing to have for if they get low on health. Let's heal you up with your level up so that you get the XP. <sighs> We're gonna go forward as far as possible. We only have seven stim packs left and a lot of vault still to explore. Okay, this doesn't seem to be anything in there. Pointless room was pointless. Nobody cares about pointless rooms. We're just gonna move on forward. Anything in here? Yes, of course not. Please. Shoot ya! Perfect. I'm gonna use a right away for you, just that you don't unnecessarily waste a stim pack there. And more goals. Let's take out the one that attacks you first. Because I don't necessarily have to heal you right this instant. Well, Actually, if I don't heal you now, I need to heal you later on, so there's no real reason to just wait on that. Let's use the red ways because I have so many. Okay, it is a big room, so... Yeah, okay, and there's only two ghouls in there. Yeah, okay, I don't see why I shouldn't be able to do that. And his suffering and mine. Goodbye, fairy ghoul. You missed the beat, you had to shoot a little bit sooner, but whatever. Okay, that wasn't really worth it as well. Hey, and we now get all the stim packs that we don't need anymore. Other than to send you back home fully healed, so that I don't have to use the stuff that we have at home for you. Well, that was something. Let's go back home, shan't we? So, they'll be here in 7 hours, I do not care about that, they can just take the sweet time. So, no storage space? Yeah, okay, that's actually true. I have a lot of things right now that I don't really know what to do with. Because I'm crafting better outfits right now that give not only uh, plus 3 in one area, but also plus 2 in another area. So. Those kind of become irrelevant the more I make those. But they are still helpful for the weapon and armor outfit workshops so that I can boost them a little bit. I also don't use them at the moment for them because I don't want to. I'm too lazy for that. So, but we wanted to make a theme workshop, was it? We also could make a barber shop, but that would take a lot of money that I'm not happy with wasting. Let's do that. And what is useful in the theme workshop? I don't know. Yeah, and I need to have people in here, so... And then let's take a look. Themes Minuteman. I don't have the stuff needed for that. I also could waste away some of my uh, precious Nuka Quantum to finish off some of those things, but honestly I do not care about that. Well, I have it, but I don't have the resources to make it. Because I acti actively use my resources to make stronger weapons. Which, if you ask me, is more important. Oh, I also just now realized that I have a lot of lunch boxes that we should take a look at. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but stim packs, okay, not necessary. Military duct tape, I like that. Never action raffle, don't really need that. Some caps, yeah, a few more would be good. Those are things that I'm crafting right now, so that's really good. Endurance 3 and strength 2, yes. 
Let's see, we have a few more th things to get through. Lever action rifle. Okay. Not like I need that. More caps. Shovel. That's good. Food. Okay, medieval rule outfit. Okay, that can be helpful. I know that bottle and cap came by. I do not care about them right now. Totally frank. I mean, they give you caps, but that's more important to me. Military circuit board. Rusty hunting rifle. Okay. Could be better. Just some food. Brandon Cox. Okay, you're good with strength. Let's just take a quick look at you then. I don't know where Cap is. But Brandon Cox. The outfit you brought with you isn't the best. You just come on in and I'm gonna take away your comedian outfit. I'm sorry. And let's just take the rusty rifle there for the moment. Just so that you have just anything to defend yourself for the time being. We might get something better out of the launch boxes here in a moment. So let's see what we have. Some caps. Wonder glue. Always good to have some wonder glue. Son of Shotgun C. Got something better immediately. Some water. And Alex Alexander Pratt. Okay, he's also not a bad character to have. And Deathclaw attack. Because sure, why not? Well then, burn them. We don't want them around here. It's said they are not strong enough yet to take out death claws just purely on their own. They, however, deal a lot of damage to them already. I might send them out again and make them even stronger, bring them up to level 50 as well to stand guard. I don't know where you are, but the music right now with the death claws right there, tearing everything up. Somehow it is oddly perfect. Come on, take it out. We don't want to take too much damage from a stupid death claw. Thank you. You stay there. And you stay there. I never told you to do any sort of switching. I hate it that you can reach through all of the stupid walls like this and just... Switch around your dwellers without even wanting to do that. So you come in here as well. You just stay there. With a sports fan outfit. That could be good for someone else. But not necessarily you. I'm gonna take a look at that in a moment. We still have more stuff to look at. Let's see what's in this water tank lunchbox. By the way, did not care about that. Hello. Okay. Waitress uniform. Agility 4. Okay, that might be helpful. Some caps. And a flamer. Okay, I take it. Then we get a new pet. It is another cat. It's Smokey. 66% wasteland chunk. Okay. Since I have mob dwellers that I want to have constantly out there collecting stuff, I... Sorry. I know that I can give this to someone. And we get ourselves... Excuse me, what the hell is going on? Mr. Handy from vault -Tech. Yet another one. Uh, because Sweep and Weep are currently on the lower areas. Because both of them are really hurt and I don't necessarily want to just uh, waste them. Because that would be stupid. But you can go in there and I'm gonna call you Sweep Weep and you are gonna be Creep. Doesn't bode well for you, but that's winning now. So we got a few things. Can I make something more interesting here now? I mean, we can make more stuff, but... Well, maybe the Rusty Plasma Pistol? But overall, I genuinely do not care about the stuff that we just got there. And yeah, I need Yao Wai hide for that. Got one shovel, which is just one of two that I needed. And on that, that's not really helpful. Okay, so I've done some micromanagement there again. And I'm getting really, really tired and done, so let's just reach that and end this episode off. But we wanna, of course. Meet the settlers at Robco Plant. 
Let's see how big this will be. Okay, rather long than big, but okay. Let's jump in here real quick, see if there's something in the entrance room. The answer seems to be no. I think there actually really never even is. Just checking it out is good enough. Don't need... no. I, I don't need to switch anything around there. You just took them out so quick. So, there's no need to be worried about you. Because they have some strong weapons. You have... 12 to 15... Of the chunk chap, 13 to 15, and the flamer goes up from 15 to 18. So I don't need to worry about those laddies. They are really strong. They are like a cleaning uh, squad for me. I just sent them in and they deal with stuff and nothing stands in their way. I mean, see? This will be smooth as butter. I mean, they are also really good in their specific traits, so that makes them really dangerous. Oh, there's a glowing one. Do I need to refocus? Well, actually, they will take them out before the glowing one even gets the chance to heal them up, I'm pretty sure. See? That one's gone already. And there you go. See? Only the glowing one left. And that goes. The tri flag. Okay. Another flamer? Okay, how strong is that? 15 to 19. You have 13 to 15. 12. Okay, that one's gonna switch out. Now I have two flamers in here and the freaking chunk chat. See? I don't need to worry about them. I just sent them in and they burn stuff and throw chunk at it. There literally is no, no problem for them. I like it that they are so strong. On the right path, I can feel it. I also can feel it because, I mean, damn it, look at what you're doing. Just, wow. It just fell over. Like the realization of, oh no, I can't do anything to them. I love the Chunk Judge so much, it's so satisfying. Just one loud bang. And you just throw Chunk at them, which makes it even better. But yeah, they did not stand a chance. All of you can get a level up, let's just do it. I don't care. I really do not care if... I just waste a heal with that because they take the things out so fast I don't need to worry about it to begin with. There's Big Mama. She could bring back a few more mo rats, but I genuinely think that they will burn up before they will be too much of a problem. Yep, see, they don't even stand a chance. I love it. So yeah, I've been sending those three out on killing missions a lot. Okay, there's a sniper rifle. They are normal. Yeah, they only got to 13. They are good, but not as good as the things that I have. I took them out originally from uh, their own specific rooms. So they were in like agility, strength and perception based rooms. Those places are filled by now. Oh, hi. I'm all that's left. I suppose that's what you get when you stand up to thugs and and yellow journalists. That ridiculous bugle boy and his editor. Soon as I saw them, I could tell they were hackers, hucksters. I don't know. Have it your way, the bugle boy said. Uh, I damn it! I can't read that fast right now. I've been uncle. I've had uncle Xiang. Oh, wow. Do you know where he is? Oh yeah, we have been watching him, waiting for the right time to strike. They're at the super duper mart? I couldn't read that fast, I'm super sorry. Oh, of course it's death. I could not read that fast, sorry. I'm not up to snuff and you gave me such a small text. Which actually starts to 
Wash out and blur. And then it goes by so quick and I can't read that fast right now. Those are some junk weapons that I get there. I mean, what that? That's... Pointless room is pointless. Okay, more junk weapons. That's really funny how that's just there. Well, let's just go down. And we find... Some more mobile rats, well... Not like I was suspecting anything big to happen there. Okay, you dealt with everything here. Let's just heal you up so that I can send you fully healed to the next mission then. So, nothing... Nothing left. Well, that was actually fast and without any problems. Okay, you take one and a half hours, it's okay. But yeah, we're doing good having one Mr. Handy now up here. That can look out for what's going to happen there. And then can send one to the stim pack and um, thingy right away place. Seems like a good place to have the next one. But yeah, anyway, I think we have everything done that I wanted to do in this episode. Next episode will be the final episode because this should be the last quest for the Boston Bugle. So that means with the next episode we will be done with the Boston Bugle storyline and with Fallout Shelter. After that we will start a new Monday Madness series. Because except for the quests I can't really show you anything more. I mean we could try and find all the themes and I could show you all of them if I wanted to. I could try and upgrade all the rooms, do everything, but I think in the next episode we will finish off with the Boston Bugle quest, we will make one workshop, uh, one theme hopefully in between, and I also will get in the barber shop to show off that at least once, so, but I think other than the theme workshop and the barber shop we've not limit reached, you can see we can't do any more of them. But I think other than that we can't, I can't really show you much more than what we have going on. Yeah, the barbershop is the last room that is missing. I don't build it right now because I want to save up my money right now to get to the potential legendary weapons there. So, I think overall... That's going to be it. I've showed you everything then that's really necessary to show. And I don't really see how much of this place you would actually need. I mean, we've been, we've came down a long way, but I don't necessarily see all that much reason to build all the way to the bottom. I might just do it for shits and giggles and make actually make a whole bunch of just... Um storage rooms because it always keeps complaining that storage capacity is low which I mean I kind of can see why but other than that I don't see a real reason to make so much more go on because they are still not fully upgraded to their best potential so is that not so I don't see why you would need that much more I mean with building all the way up down there you probably would need a little bit more energy, so you power probably need to make a few more power plants. But other than that, don't really see the reason for that. And especially after all of that is done, after you trained up all of your dwellers, you probably will uh, destroy those rooms here and just make more storage spaces out of that. Because what else would you do if you only have 200 dwellers? And you have the limit and can't do anything with them anymore. I'm pretty sure you would just go ahead and break them down and make something useful out of them. Well, anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode now right here. I'm getting loopy a little bit right now because 
again, I'm not feeling the best. And this is actually one recording thing where I sat down for the normal time of recording. So, will anything set on fire or not? We'll find out. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And I'll see all of you in another video. So, bye!